This video is a quick introduction to mapping using the tools created in the Input Devices and Music Interaction Lab at McGill University for the McGill Digital Orchestra project. As an example, we'll be using the T-Box, a digital musical instrument that features momentary switches for each finger, ultrasound transmitters on each hand, and four ultrasound receivers attached to the box. This is the graphical user interface we use for creating and editing mapping connections. On the left is an area for viewing devices and parameters that are sources of information. On the right, we have a similar area for devices and parameters that are destinations for information. And in the middle, an area for viewing connections between these. Next, we'll load the driver software for the T-Box, which reads sensor data from the instrument and outputs open sound control. Once it's connected to the mapping network, it appears in the GUI. At this point, we can view the entire parameter space, or namespace, of the T-Box. We'll also add a synthesizer that's compatible with this system. In this case, a granular synthesizer. Once devices have joined the network, creating links between them is as simple as clicking on a device with outputs and clicking on a device with inputs. This creates a direct network connection between the two devices. Now if we view the parameter space of the T-Box, on the right-hand side we can see all the parameters available to be mapped to based on what devices have been linked to the T-Box. Creating connections between parameters is identical to creating links between devices. Here we'll connect figure combination on the left hand to the note value of the granular synthesizer. We'll also connect the ultrasound amplitude to grain frequency. Here's what that sounds like. While a mapping connection is selected, we can edit its various properties. Typing the expression bar, we can define a function that will transform the data. On the right-hand side, we can define the range of the destination, and also what will happen if the data exceeds this range separately at the minimum and at the maximum. Clipping behaviors include muting, clamping, folding, and wrapping. Mapping configurations can be saved in an XML format, which describes the source, destination, and properties of each mapping connection. Here we'll load an XML file, which we baked earlier. This one includes 16 connections between various outputs of the T-Box and various input parameters of the granular synthesizer. Filtering of the displayed parameters can be accomplished using a drop-down menu or simple text searching. This can be particularly useful when dealing with very large numbers of parameters. This is what it sounds like now. These tools have been designed to aid collaborative development of mapping layers for digital musical instruments. They work over a local subnet, and multiple GUIs can view and edit the same mapping connections. Connections between devices are peer-to-peer. -peer. For more information, visit www.idmil.org.